My name is Stephen Burley. I'm the director of the RCSB PDB with appointments at both Rutgers and UCSD. I'm also the founding director of the Rutgers Institute for Quantitative Biomedicine, which is hosting this, uh, this event. We, uh, we are here today to um, uh, provide you with a crash course in uh, uh, working with the new rcsp.org uh, research-focused website. The crash course is being recorded. Uh, the recording will be posted on our YouTube channel uh, within the next 24 hours. And the presentation PDFs will be available to any of the participants who are kind enough to complete the, uh, the exit survey for us. So before uh, introducing the agenda, I just wanted to be clear as to what we mean by a computed structure model. Uh, this, uh, uh, this graphic uh, taken from a recent New England Journal of Medicine article contrasts the steps involved in experimental structure determination with either uh, X-ray crystallography, cryoelectron microscopy, or nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, resulting in uh, a um, well-validated uh, structure, which uh, experimental structure uh, that's often uh, only uh, part of the, uh, the polypeptide chain, but uh, has minimal low or, uh, or very low confidence regions. Functional ligands are often present, such as the uh, image depicted here of a protein RNA complex. This information goes into the protein data bank and is then uh, publicly disseminated through uh, either our website, rcsp.org, or one of our worldwide protein data bank partner websites. Contrast this with uh, what we mean by computed structure model, which are those um, predicted structures coming from uh, artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning methods that take advantage of both what's known about protein structures in the PDB and uh, genomic data pertaining to the, um, the pertaining to uh, the protein of interest or closely related proteins. And it's the amalgam of this information and an, and an iterative process about which you will hear more that allows for uh, generation uh, using these AI machine learning methods of a computed structure model. Uh, these are typically full length polypeptide chains, uh, particularly for eukaryotic proteins, they may include substantial numbers of either low or very low confidence regions that are probably disordered and no functional ligands are, um, are present. Uh, these are being publicly disseminated through AlphaFold DB and the model archive and, uh, and other resources. The motivation, the rationale of the RCSB Protein Data Bank for including computed structure models is uh, enumerated here on this slide. They provide structure data for all model organism proteomes, which is not the case for uh, many of the, um, the, the proteomes that are only partially represented in the protein data bank. Uh, for example, the proteome of Arabidopsis thaliana has about 5% coverage in the protein data bank. Uh, addition of computed structure models for all of the uh, Arabidopsis thaliana proteins brings that number close to uh, 100%. Uh, unlike many structures in the PDB, uh, computer structure models cover entire polypeptide chains. Uh, it is uh, a, uh, it's the case that now that computed structure models can be delivered alongside the experimental structures in the PDB using the full functionality of the rcsb.org website for searching analyses and visualization. And you'll see this uh, this afternoon. And computed structure models can be clearly identified as to their provenance and accuracy, and contrasting the uh, provenance and accuracy of experimental structures represented in the protein data bank. The overarching goal uh, of the RCSB PDB in updating and extending its data delivery capacities uh, over the last few months is to provide better service for the more than 99% of our web portal users who are not experts in structural biology. 
and frequently find themselves frustrated when they come to the protein data bank and realize that there is no experimental structure available for um, the, uh, pro their protein of interest from a particular model organism. Today's agenda is depicted here. We will um, be uh, starting off with, uh, with Brenda Vallat, uh, and uh, each of the speakers will uh, successively introduce uh, the other. Uh, and then I'll come back in at the end to provide some uh, concluding remarks and also give you some information about um, approaches for sending us uh, feedback. We are particularly interested in uh, receiving uh, ne constructive negative feedback uh, because the only way we can get better is to understand how we may be only meeting the needs of our users in some, uh, in some, uh, in some partial way. Uh, 